Hi everyone, welcome, Yvette here. I hope everybody's doing well. I want to share my card for my swap over at Your Paper Pantry. I host the Copic Challenge. So every month we come up with different challenges using your Copic markers and this month the theme was um, Think Green and it was all about uh, springtime, Easter or just the color green. And this is the card that I made for my swap over at your paper pantry. If you haven't come, come over to visit us, please do so. If you haven't joined, you should... Um, take a look at uh, what we have to offer every month there's amazing challenges and ama amazing giveaways and um, a lot of swaps and a lot of talented people over at your paper pantry so come take a look at us anyway so let me share my card this is what I did I have taken um, green cardstock and this is all um, basil cardstock that I used and um, this little beautiful girl is from the greeting farm and I've colored her in and I've kept all of the colors monochromatic I've used um, the greens so I use the um, the greens in the YG so the yellow greens and for her hair I use just warm gray as you can see there and kept her super super simple and then for the paper line I used the pink paisley and that is let's see let me see. It's Queen Bee. So that this is the paper that I've used. And this is the 6x6 paper pad by Pink Paisley. And I've had it for a little while, so I'm not sure if it's still available, but it's a really neat paper um, collection. Let me show you a few of the sheets in here. So and they're all like really pretty greens and grays. It's very beautiful and yellows. Anyway, so that's what I've used. And then I have a few flowers here with some bling. I've used my Nestabilities, my oval one, back here. And then I've taken corrugated um, card cardboard and put it here. And then this is packaging paper that I went ahead and I punched with a Martha Stewart punch. Or actually, wait a minute, no, that is um, a Stampin' Up! punch that I used back there. And that's the new Tim Holtz butterfly right there. And then I've done a lot of distress work on the corrugated um, cardboard, and I've used a couple of products. One being my um, acrylic paint dauber in lettuce, and then I use my Lindy Stamp Gang in Desert Moon Blazing Sun, and this is beautiful. You see that? And then I also distress it with a little bit of walnut stain distress ink in there. And then back here I've taken notebook paper, something completely and totally out there that you wouldn't necessarily use, and I distressed it and I put it back there. And this is what my card looks like. So I've made three of these, of course, and that's what my cards look like. They all look the same. I think it turned out super beautiful. And now I want to share with you, oh, wait a minute, one more thing. I also added some bling here on the butterfly. And then here I used art glitter. And what I did to accent the little butterfly in her hair was my quickie pen. And then I added some art glitter. So yeah, that's what I've done. And again, that's some notebook paper, something different that you might not think of using. There you go, there's an idea. Then I want to share with you a card that Tracy McDonald made. She was in our, in our swap. Thank you so much, Tracy. And isn't this beautiful? This is the card that she made. Very beautiful. And I don't know where this beautiful little girl is from. I wish she, she could tell me. Tracy, let me know what collection she's from. She's very beautiful. And she finished the inside. And that's what that looks like. And she's got a little stamp in the back that says Handmade by Tracy McDonald. Very beautiful. Thank you so much, Tracy. And these will be out in the mail soon to you guys. And then these are made by Jane. Thank you so much. It's very beautiful. And she made different ones. And this is like Look at what she did to her envelope. Isn't that beautiful? She distressed that and she um, 
she embossed it very beautiful and here's another card that she made also very beautiful very very beautiful i i too would like to know what um line what stamp set these are they're very beautiful very very nice thank you so much and then on the inside isn't that beautiful so that's what she made thank you so much and it was also a um an image swap and here are some of the images that were sent so very beautiful images that were sent in isn't that gorgeous but anyway thank you so much for stopping by and like i said if you haven't taken a look over at your paper pantry please do so here are some of the cards again beautiful cards that ladies made here's the card that i made and i'll have some pictures of mine at the end thanks so much for watching talk to you guys soon bye